In natural convection, the movement of fluid is natural, and is not generated by external source. As opposed to forced convection, where fluid, are forced to move in order to increase the heat transfer, by using external sources, such as, pumps, fans, etc. Here are some of our correlations for different types of heat transfer. Please check the Perry's for other correlations. Where, the dimensionless NU, or Nusselt number, is equals to HLC over thermal conductivity, K, H is the convection coefficient, and LC is called the characteristic length, characteristic length depends on the configurations of flow. Bar on the Nusselt number denotes that the Nusselt number is average, meaning the convection coefficient is also average. It is essential to take note that average Nusselt number, is half of the local Nusselt number. And now, these are the different LC, for each types of flow. The properties of the fluid, such as, heat capacity, viscosity, density, and thermal conductivity, are evaluated at bulk temperature and single phase. To evaluate the heat transfer rate, Q, it is equal to, convective coefficient, times area, time Ts minus T infinity. Area, depends also on the configurations of flow. For horizontal tube, areas is pi times outside diameter times length, for others, it depends on the area of plate, exposed to heat transfer. Here is an example problem. One thing in solving this types of heat transfer problems, is that, it is very direct. You just need to input, the variables into the equation.